Hi, it's Rick with Phoneware. We're going to demonstrate the Accession desktop application and give you a quick overview on its use. Accession Desktop is a soft phone and communications interface for Windows and Mac computers. It is an optional component of the Phoneware cloud-based telecom. First, we're going to launch the Accession app. I've already downloaded and installed the program, and now I'm going to set it up for the first time. So let you launch the Accession app. It'll take a few seconds to load. And the first thing you'll have to do is pick your service provider. You will pick Phoneware and click OK. And then you'll be required to log in with your direct telephone number and your password. If you don't have that information, let us know and we'll get it to you. And then once the software loads, the first time in, you'll have to accept the end user license agreement. And now you'll have the Accession Communicator desktop and after a few moments, it will fully connect and you'll be ready to go to make some calls. Before we start making calls with Accession, there are a couple of other setup options we're going to want to take advantage of. So click on Tools, Options, and on the General Options tab, probably going to want the Accession app to launch when you boot up your computer. Also, scroll down and enable the Call Park feature and that's about it on the main uh, general tab then go over to your audio tab and make sure that the correct uh, microphone is selected that you want to use also the speakers that you want to use for your in-call audio and also for notifications which is basically just ringing so if you've got a USB headset you're probably going to want to pick that USB headset for microphone and in-call audio and then have your computer speakers uh, set for the um, notifications because you don't want your ringing to come through the headset you want that to probably come through your computer speakers then last go over to video and if you have a video um, camera on your a webcam on your computer you can pick that device and then when you make video calls uh, that will be um, ready to go for you so that's it on the setup, and now we're going to move on to making a call. Before we make a call, let me just give you a quick overview of the features on the main dashboard of the Accession Communicator uh, desktop program. So at the top here, it shows your contact information and your status, and you can also control your availability through some of these options. Um, this is the window where you can enter in a telephone number to place a call or you can click the dial pad here and place it that way or you can actually just dial on your computer keyboard like so. Uh, to the right over here is um, this is access to your voicemail so if I click here it'll take me into my voicemail you can see right now that I have one voicemail message and this will take me to my voicemail window. I can actually click right here and play Hello, Rick. This is Rick. my message and of course I can see it read because we have the uh, voicemail transcription feature as well. So I'll go ahead and close that out. So that's voicemail. You've basically got three tabs of uh, calls that you can make. You've got all of your contacts and these are by default you'll have all the contacts within your business group but you can also add your own contacts and you can also select some of your contacts as uh, favorites right here and then when you go over to favorites those contacts will show up as your favorites you've also got a list of your recent calls received and calls placed so you can get to those as well so that's just a quick overview of the features that are in the accession communicator desktop interface Okay, so let's make a call. I'm just going to go right here, enter a phone number. Thank you for calling Phoneware. Cloud and now I've made my call. If you know your now in my call window, let's time. see, I wonder if I can for mute this. Press no so in my call window here, um, I can put the call on hold. I can switch the call to video. I can adjust my mic volume and my speaker volume. I just turned my speaker volume all the way down. I can also bring up a keypad 
if I called an auto attendant or something like that where I have to um, enter digits, I can do that. I can record this conversation and I can pull up a list of all of my park orbits to be able to park that call on any one of the orbits. Also to the right of the user icon here, the caller icon, I can click this button to perform a transfer to another number or extension and I can click here to set up a conference call. So basically all of your features that you'll need to have access to are right here in this call window. I can also place a call by selecting one of my contacts or one of my favorite contacts. So here we'll go to one of my contacts and I'll just double click on the contact and Thank that will place that call for me. Cloud -based telecom. And I can click here to hang up. If you know your party's extension. When you receive a call, you'll get a pop-up window. And by the way, that's one other thing we should change is that uh, that ringer, the default ringer is kind of obnoxious. Let's hang up from this call and I'll show you where that's at. Tools, options, general, and the ringtones are right here. Default ringtone is accession. I like the one just called telephone, like so. So close that out. And then once again, to receive a call, there's my call and I can accept or reject. If I reject, I'll be sending that person to voicemail. So I click accept and now I've got my call here and uh, I can still transfer, hold, park, etc. just like on an outbound call. Let's talk about the different ways of transferring calls. So if I've got an incoming call here and I answer that call, there's two different ways I can transfer this call. If I click this transfer item right here, it's going to perform what's called a blind transfer. And the number that I transfer that call to, uh, I'm not going to talk to them. I'm basically just going to directly divert the call to that number. So when I click on the transfer button, it gives me the ability to pick any one of my contacts or any one of my recent calls, or I can put in the number that I want to transfer that call to. Uh, transfer destination can be an extension within your business group or it can be any outside telephone number. In this case, I'm transferring it to an outside telephone number. I put in the number there, I click transfer call. The call is completely gone off of my interface and uh, the caller is now connected to the number that I transferred them to. So that is a uh, what's called a blind transfer. The other method is called a supervised transfer. With a supervised transfer, once again, I've got my call. I answer that call, and instead of transferring this call, I go and I make the call to the other person that I want to transfer to. Of course, I'll tell this person to hold on for just a moment, and now I make my second call. And when the second party answers, Your phone number is this is just a recording that I'm transferring it to, if I click transfer, I can choose to transfer my other call to this number. If I do, now they're connected. I've lost the call. The, the party's been passed through. But I had a chance to talk to the party that I was transferring to and explain to them about the call that I was transferring to them. So those are basically the two methods that you have to uh, transfer a call. Also, the other thing you may have noticed right there, when I did that... I also had an option to join the uh, calls together. So once this answers, I can basically, this button right here, merges the calls together. And now I've got a conference call with both of my parties. There's another way to make a conference call, and I'll show you just a minute. But that is, uh, that is one method that uh, you can set up a conference call. I can also put an active call on park. So while I'm talking to this person, I can click the park option here, pick park orbit one, and now I no longer have that call. That call is holding on park orbit one, and anyone in the office can pick that up. To access your park orbits, go to tools, call park, 
and you can see there that there's a call on Park 1. There's nothing on any of my other Park Orbits, but there's something on Park, uh, park Orbit 1. And if I click that button, I will have that call. That will reconnect me to that call. So Park is very easy to use. Conference calls are also very easy to set up. So if I've got a call here, and I want to add another party to this call, I'm going to create kind of a mess here, but I'll show you. If I click this shaded uh, user icon, that's to add a participant. If I click that, I can make a second call, like so. And that will basically set up a conference call with my two parties. I can do it again and add another call. And again, and add another call. And you can basically keep going. Like I said, I'm going to create a mess, and I just did, because these are all just recordings. But if you're calling uh, real people, just keep adding parties, and you can create a multi-party conference call very easily. So conference calling is, is real easy. Another nice feature of the Accession Communicator desktop is the ability to send chat messages to other users on the system. I can basically just pick a user, click on the send chat icon, and uh, send a message. And if she's there, she will respond back. She should be there. There she is. She's typing. And you'll get her response. So that's the uh, built-in chat application that is part of the Accession desktop. As I mentioned earlier, you can also use Accession to control your availability. So this is the presence management screen. Right now it shows that I'm online. I can also say that I'm busy and then anyone else who uh, has Accession and sees my extension, other people in my work group, they will see that my status is busy. Um, I can also put myself in Do Not Disturb, like so. Then anyone who tries to call me will go directly to my voicemail without ringing my uh, Accession app because I am not available on Do Not Disturb. You can also control how calls ring to Accession and other telephone numbers. So if I go to here, uh, under the call manager underneath where do not disturb was I've got all these different options ring my account phone ring phones in order ring phones together I can click here to view all settings and then I can basically go uh, set this up so right now it's set to just ring my account phone which is accession but I can say ring my phones together and let's say I wanted to add I've got Greg in here right now I'm going to take him out Let's say I wanted to add my mobile phone. So let's pretend that that was my mobile number. And I add that and click OK. And now when a call comes in, it's going to ring my account phone, which is Accession. And it's also going to ring my mobile phone at the same time. If I didn't want to ring my mobile phone immediately, I could choose the option to ring my phones in order. And then I could have it ring my account phone first and my mobile phone second and a delay and however I want to route those calls. You can add other phone numbers and bounce things around as, as much as you want. So very flexible call routing options. And that's about it for presence management and call manager. You can also access your account and change other settings. So if I go to tools view account that will open up another window that basically gives access to the com portal of my account this is basically the same information that I would log into uh, directly from a browser but you can jump right to it through accession so here I can change some of my passwords um, I can change options for calling like if I wanted to make myself anonymous I could check here and then my caller ID wouldn't be shown can go over to messages and um, set up my voicemail to email like so 
my transcription is already turned on. I'm going to go ahead and leave messages in my inbox so I can get to them through this message interface right here. Can you also even edit my greetings from my computer, record them, manage them, etc. There are several different greeting options. I'm not going to go into detail on those. And if you click on more options, you've even got greetings for uh, when you're busy on a call and greetings for outside of business hours. So there's a lot of options, a lot of flexibility on greetings. You can also set up uh, notifications. I'm going to cancel that because I didn't want to change anything. And uh, we can have notifications such as email. If I don't want to have a message emailed to me, but I just want to have a notification sent to me, I can basically add uh, an email notification as well. I can have the system call out to me and uh, tell me that I've, that I've got messages and a few other options. A lot of these, though, with the prevalence of smartphones today, typically sending the message to your email is about all you would need to do. So the uh, account access allows you to get into that. I can also use Accession to manage groups that I'm a member of. So if I go to Tools, Groups, this will take me to a window that will show me all the groups that I am a member of. So here I'm looking at a multi-line hunt group named Test. This is just a demo line, so it's not real world. And if I wanted to, you can see right now that both Greg and I are logged into this group. If I wanted to log out, I can click this link and log out of the group. And now it shows me logged out, but I can still see that Greg is logged in. Or I can pick a different group and choose to, uh, to log in or out of one of these other groups. Also, I can show a call pickup group just so that I can see. There's no login or log out of a call pickup group, but just so I can see the other extensions that are members of this call pickup group so that I can use the uh, call pickup feature to pick up another call that's ringing in the office. With Accession, there is not a button for call pickup. So you would have to dial the call pickup access code, which is star one one. So if I was back at Accession and I heard another phone ringing, I could dial star one one. That reminds me, if you wanted to use the uh, features like call pickup and not have to dial the code, you could technically create a contact for that feature. So to create a contact, I go file, add contact. And I'm going to call this call pickup. Oops, can't type. And under the phone number, I'm going to put in the actual access code for that feature, star 11. And that would have put that under my contacts here. I'm also going to add that in my favorites because I'm normally going to be sitting here at my favorites. And now, if another phone was ringing in my business group, I can double click this and it will dial that code. Just so happens that right now, there's not another phone ringing. If I call another phone, whoops, like so. So I'm calling uh, Greg's extension right now and that's ringing. So now I should just be able to pick that call up. And I've picked up my own call now. Test one, two, test one, te two. Test one, two. So that was me picking up my own call. So if you've got uh, some features like that that you want to make easily accessible, you can just put them in as a contact and then put them on your favorites tab and you can get to those features pretty easily. And I think that's pretty much it. One important thing, if you click on help, you can access uh, basically an online user guide for the uh, Accession Communicator desktop software and cover a lot of things in more detail than I have covered in this quick overview. So um, feel free to jump into help there if you need it. And if you can't find anything else, don't hesitate to give our service department a call on our network, on the Phoneware network. All you have to dial is 611 or you can always call 602-445-7777. Thanks for watching and have a great day.